Welcome back. His specialty is pain management, and his goal is to treat pain without narcotics. Joined by Dr. Donish, uh, who will talk about some ways we can do that. And not only do we have today, but we're going to be uh, revisiting this topic as time moves on here, Dr. Donish. We sure, certainly appreciate your, your expertise in this. Um, maybe just give folks a, a quick primer on, on your background and um, area of uh, study. Yeah, so a lot of pain docs go through anesthesia training because really anesthesia is the, the science of not just physiology of body but also understanding nerves and and understanding how pain is relayed in the body so uh, my background I did my residency at Hopkins at Johns Hopkins and then mm. I went into fellowship at MD Anderson so MD Anderson is a big cancer institute that looks at a variety of different conditions that uh, will inevitably have some pain so it's, it's a it's a very complex understanding of, of nerves in the body and how they transmit pain to the brain. Well, it's a prestigious uh, organization you're describing here, so we want to take advantage of that expertise and dive into this topic. And yeah. um, so the goal is to try to, to move away, if not completely away, from, from narcotics. And, and how do, where do we start with that? Well, I mean, you know, m pain medications, narcotics, are, are helpful in an acute setting. Um, but if you take it for a long period of time, you lose the, the effect. And we mm. want to preserve those medications for the times where it's really an emergency That's or right. necessary. So we try to isolate the nerves that transmit the pain and, and in some capacity numb them. It can be a temporary numbing, it can be long term, but we're not, we're not killing the nerve. All we're doing is we're just reducing the volume of that nerve hmm. rather than just kind of pushing the mute button on your stereo. I see. Something uh, I've always been curious with when, when doctors ask, you know, what, what pain level are you at? Give me a, give me a number, 1 to 10. I mean, that, that seems like it could be all over the place because everyone has a different interpretation of that. A absolutely. I mean, when you, when you have pain, it can be something small or big and it's hard to put a number on that but but really it's more than just the number we're really trying to understand the type of pain because if you if you notice like if you stub your toe you burn your finger you can call both of those pain but they're very different and the treatments for those are very different as well very good well uh, this is a big topic as we were discussing earlier and we look forward to uh, time ahead where we can discuss it in greater detail how can folks learn more information kind of study up and maybe have some questions ready for you as, as time so, marches on so there's a lot of information on the internet but it's hard to find reliable information we have a lot of I'm glad you guys had that social media uh, story mm. we have a lot of so social media outlets and we try to put out articles that are really uh, well vetted and well trusted um, so you knowledge is power very good yeah. all right well there's a, a website at the bottom of your screen there check that out for more information and dr. Donish we certainly appreciate the info look forward to uh, your next visit with I really have uh, I'm really happy at uh, being here thank you we appreciate it uh, we're back with more after this stick around please